Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing the mid-August reading for Pisces. So let's see what's going on with Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, 12th house, dominant placements or cross watchers. Let's see what's going on with the Pisces in your life if you're not a Pisces. Post this Aquarius full moon. <clears throat> Nostalgia, not very uncommon for a Pisces to be feeling that way. Soulmate, spring, received. Interesting. Some of you guys might have had a significant time during the spring that you were involved with your soulmate, your twin flame. This soulmate card could be karmic, but it also could be twin flame because I just kind of see it as very general soulmate. Um, spring. So things might have been very significant for you around the springtime and you're thinking about it for some reason. If some of you guys were worried whether you sent a message and it wasn't received, it was received. And this could have been actually a text a voicemail, an email, or spiritually, if you're sending messages to your twin flame, they are receiving it, okay? If you're nostalgic about the springtime and you're kind of trying to convey that to them in some way, they also are. <clears throat> a couple more cards for this. <clears throat> tribe, okay? Some of you might be really surrounded by your tribe right now, the people that your support system <clears throat> and summer okay so a lot of seasons here summer it reminds me of all the seasons of my life okay that's a good charlotte song from like a long time ago but i always think of that with seasons um so the fact that spring and summer came up i feel like these are significant seasons for your relationship um so that could have a message there too. Um, <clears throat> marriage is on the bottom of this deck, but I haven't shuffled it or anything yet. So let's see what comes up. It's different pages, chemistry and weight, okay? So I feel like you guys do have chemistry with this person that you're thinking about. The timing isn't right though, because right now you guys are on different pages, okay? So. I do feel like there's a connection there. It's just not the right timing. Unfortunately, even if you have a connection with someone and timing is right, then it's not the right connection right now, okay? I'm gonna pull from the Trust Your Vibes deck and see, see the solution, okay? So try to find solutions to issues rather than dwelling in a problem or something. Accept the gifts of the universe, okay? So this is like, whether it was something you asked for or didn't, know that the universe is giving you gifts and uh, it's your job to kind of see what they are and um, ride with the wave of what, you know, what the universe is trying to offer you, whether it was what you asked for or not, you know? And seek solitude, okay? So some of you, I feel like with that tribe card and then seek solitude, Right, really, right now might really need some space to yourself to try to gather your thoughts because I feel like maybe you're overwhelmed by the people surrounding you, okay? So <clears throat> I'm going to pull from the regular rider weight. See what other messages we got here. Nothing's too significant yet. I just did a Capricorn reading and I'm not getting a lot of things about different signs. Okay, well, we got the devil. So we got Capricorn energy here. Um, some of you guys might be feeling bound and chained to a certain dynamic, a certain way of life, a certain addiction or habit that you just can't seem to break. So another song that's popping in my head. You're the hardest habit to break or whatever. So let's see what's going on with this devil energy. I feel like this might be really consuming you right now 
Oh, nothing wants to come out. Ten of Pentacles and Five of Wands. Okay. So I feel like some of you are really fighting hard for your stability, your happy ending, your um, everything that you want, like money-wise, like stability-wise, and you're, it's really challenging and these people are really loud in the coffee shop, so I'm sorry. Um, their baby was just running back and forth and I'm like, I was waiting to do my video now, but it's just, anyways, it's my choice because I choose to do my readings in coffee shops because this is my domain. Anyway, so um, I feel like there's a big battle for like getting what you want for, you know, it might be also a battle within your family dynamics. It might be, you know, your home or your family or the people that you're surrounded by. I'm really getting a feeling that you guys need space from the people around you like I do right now. Um, okay, so let's see what else we got here. Page of Cups reverse. Yeah, I saw this coming up. So this is you guys. Also, I don't know. I feel like you guys maybe are waiting on some sort of message to be sent some sort of love offer it's not coming or there's some like unrequited love here someone who's just very like immature with their emotions um just kind of irresponsible like emotionally you know um and five of pentacles so i feel like could have been you guys because it's pisces but i feel like in the past someone caused a lot of like depression and sadness with their um with their irresponsibility with someone else's emotions okay it caused someone to feel very like left out in the cold abandoned you guys could have felt that way i feel too like there's some sort of energy here of someone just like really wanting what they want and almost kind of like being very like greedy and selfish kind of about it um it's just kind of like a selfish energy that I'm getting here, okay? I'm going to pull from the tarot of sexual magic and see what messages we got here. Knight of Swords. So some of you might be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, also, just someone like I feel there's like a like kind of like an irrational like energy here. Someone who's just kind of careless about what they do and um, the destruction that they cause around them, and they're very selfish. Okay, that's the feeling I'm getting. Knave of Pentacles, which is like a Page of Pentacles and Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So, um, some of you might be dealing with an earth sign, like I said, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. It might, there might be a new beginning that could come, but it has to be very slow, okay? This is not, like, a fast-moving connection. I feel like patience is your virtue right now. I also feel like you guys need more clarity if you're going to pursue this dynamic. Six of Swords. So, I feel like this could be recovered. I feel like you want to make peace with this person, but you're just not quite sure how because there's a lot of destruction in the past of this connection, okay? Um, I feel like you want to go towards calmer waters. You want things to be better, but you're just not quite sure how. Yep, with the hangman reverse, I feel like there's a lot of indecision here. There's a lot of like, you're trying to get to uncover truths about yourself but you're kind of also resistant because it takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of energy and you're just not quite sure you can make it happen and with the emperor reverse i also feel like this is that lack of responsibility this is that not wanting to be accountable for your you know what you did or someone in this situation i feel like doesn't want to take responsibility for what they've caused and they've caused a lot of stuff so um i feel like it's going to take a lot of like self introspection and a lot of um really you know that hangman is like be willing to be in that precarious situation of being uncomfortable and facing hard truths about yourself in order to come to some realizations about you know the actions that you've done and the things that 
how you've affected other people. Um, Hangman hey, Reverse is also a Piscean card, okay? And also Page of Cups. So I feel like you guys are definitely coming up in this reading, but I feel like there's a lot of slow moving energy and it's because there's kind of like a conflict of interest here as well, okay? So I'm gonna pull from the Twin Flame messages and see what your divine counterparts wants to say to you. Songs are speaking to me right now. So I feel like music may be a big connection in this connection, okay? And sometimes that's the only way you can connect with someone is like through listening to the same music or knowing they're listening to that. There's so many things left unsaid between us. Yeah, I feel like there's this desire to want to speak with that Knight of Swords, but there's also this like resistance with that Hangman Reverse and I'm still trying to find myself, okay? So I feel like there is this need to really be more like self introspective and you know really reflecting on things that have happened and kind of yep discernment is interesting is on the bottom here so i'm going to pull from the mystic art medicine and see what last messages we have i'm sorry for the noise i'm trying to keep my cool but i'm just kind of annoyed um but hopefully that didn't affect my reading i feel like my messages were still pretty clear but that's why i'm gonna still use this video because i I got some good messages actually, intuitively. I, I saw a really solid story here. So I'm gonna pull some Mystic Art Medicine and see what messages I have for you guys. Goddess of Fire, okay. Goddess of Air, oh my God, and Freedom. Wow, okay, so I feel like this is, um. this is about taking action and also about communication in a very forthright active way and i feel like if you guys are able to initiate things and say what needs to be said say what you need to say it will give you and this person freedom and it might even give this um connection room to breathe i feel like with goddess of air so i feel like it has to kind of be like ignited i feel like this communication has to take place i feel like um you know it just there has to be like that uh, movement and that um, charge into the relationship in order to cause like the bondage to break of that devil okay and then I feel like you guys will have a new sense of freedom in your connection so that's the message I have for you guys thanks for tuning in I'll see you guys next time bye